it's Amanda from the San Diego Lifestyle and I'm here today with Jim Patterson from Fit in Solana Beach right here. It's an amazing gym. I met Jim here a few months ago when I was getting ready for my wedding and which is next weekend so I'm finally there and we were looking all over for really good gyms in San Diego to go to train with me and my fiance and we were looking for something that was personalized and you know, private, a great setting, but also a good community, and we came to fit, and it was just a great place. So I wanted to interview today about a little bit about the location, about the people that are here, and kind of what you guys are doing here. So tell me a little bit about fit and why Solana Beach. Right. So fit, fit was originally uh, first club out in Houston, moved out to San Diego, opened up downtown right next to Petco, Petco Parks, oh, wow. really beautiful gym. The cardio there is actually easy to do because you're looking out over one of the most beautiful uh, baseball stadiums in the world. Easy cardio. So not too bad. You get to kind of hang out and watch that and go, wow, San Diego. It's kind of cool here. So then also we then acquired two of the uh, former Frogs locations in the Carmel Mountain Ranch and then here in Solana Beach. Okay. Did a full renovation, um, all new cardio equipment, weight resistance. And when was um, that? That was in... 2013. Okay. So, so that's pretty uh, new. Yeah, then. yeah. I came on just about four months after the start of the renovation. So okay. We went from uh, orange and green walls with broken down white equipment to top of the line uh, weight resistance equipment, cardio respiratory equipment, a full sports performance area, and uh, basically all new paint. We got rid of the orange and the green. <laughs> yeah, I wasn't here to see that, but I'm oh, here now. It looks amazing, and you have the local artists, you know, art uh -huh. painting on the yes, wall we too. Do. We have one of the uh, finer galleries here in Solana Beach is uh, has uh, showcased art here, and we also change it out probably every month. And uh, if you have any questions about the art, you can also purchase it from here. Yeah, that's so cool. So tell me a little bit about the trainers that you guys have here, and kind of right. what you guys specialize in, and what people can come here to look for. Right. For sure, I've been in the industry about 18 years, so I got right out after coming back. I grew up here in San Diego, went out to Colorado State for school, and came back immediately started working as a trainer. I've been in about 18 years now, and this is the solid, most solid, uh, educated training staff I've ever created. Yes, I'm going to take ownership for now. <laughs> but fantastic group of people, uh, highly educated. Nobody has anything less than five years of experience. Wow. Majority do have degrees and multiple certi certifications. Nationally recognized certifications is very important. Uh, it's, you know, it's a buyer, be buyer beware type industry. You always have to make sure that you interview your trainer, make sure they know what they're talking about. They've got that good level of education because it's you're the product, of, you know, you want to make sure you're safe and yeah. getting the good results. So, uh, so you that's, guys work with yeah. just younger people or older people or do you have different... All the way across the board, you know, we can... For. Exactly, you know, we can be a little intimidating because we do have such top of the line equipment and we are considered a, more of a boutique type gym. But what we've got here is we've got a culture of fun and we've got a culture of support. People, everybody knows each other and everybody supports each other here. And even though there's some people that are just in amazing shape, rather than <laughs> being intimidating, it's actually highly motivating. It so. is. There's such a motivating vibe around uh, here. And sure. I know you guys have a lot of really cool classes going on, uh -huh, and you definitely. guys have a whole spin room too, right? How's, Gorgeous little spin how's room. That go? Yeah, what exactly. What's spin all about? Spin, spin, you know, they like to call it cycle, because spin okay. denotes kind of a waste of time. You're spinning all over the <laughs> So they, they get a little, um, I me. call them, uh, yes, exactly. <laughs> well, you gotta watch out, because we don't call them the Psycho. psycho cycles for nothing. Uh, right. These people are serious business. We cater to them as best as we can, make sure the bikes are always perfect, make sure there's a towel waiting for them when they get there. Most importantly, we've got an amazing industrial size AC system here. We don't keep it too cold, we keep it just enough so you can still get a great sweat, but you're not dying in it. Right? You're not doing yoga, you're cycling. So. And then what room are we in here? This is our group X room. Um, this is a huge room actually, yeah. and it pretty much can do anything from Pilates to the bar classes, to the usual cardio funk, which people love. We actually highlight over at the belly up with Carrie, which is a cardio funk class that she does, and then wow. also uh, another dance troupe that she has as well. And we put on a party over there and that kind of thing. It's good times. Oh yeah. my we sold it out in like five minutes and there was a, a line around the block and people oh were kind of getting blown God. away because we were shutting down some of the restaurants. So was, uh -oh. yeah, there was some attitude uh -oh. a little bit. But it was a party. So don't hate a party, right? <laughs> So then tell me about the other areas because I know you have the turf area. Sure, that's our sports performance area. That is, um, you know, we're looking at sleds, we're looking at TRXs, physio balls, kettlebells. Uh, again, another free motion, which is a uh, pulley style um, type of piece of exercise. We've got a sled simulator, we've got a parachute sl simulator. Anything you're going to want to do to improve on sports performance or even corrective exercise or just the old uh, functional training. 
which you've heard so much about. Okay. Uh, and I do air quotes on that because you can put functional into any type of exercise. <laughs> uh, you know, they're all, if you're moving your joints, guess what? It's functional. It's functioning. <laughs> <laughs> and then what about on the other side? You have all, you have free weights, right? And then weight equipment. Yes, that's or... where we've got, you know, the, I like to call it the meathead section. That's where we've got all the big heavy weights. <laughs> I didn't want to call it that. Meat, meathead <laughs> row, okay? Because I'm a recovering meathead. I learned to read and I put that all behind me. Now I'm a, a learned meathead. Yes, exactly. thank you. It's not all pictures. So anyway, just to get back to it, um, we've got you know we've got our chest press, we've got our squats, we've got our leg presses, we've got all the good stuff you can stack a whole bunch of uh, weight onto and bounce it around a little bit. And then right outside from there yeah, is outside. our outdoor area. We've got a full CrossFit rig with another complement of dumbbells as well as two Muay Thai bags and some other boxing bags out there. We have a really good uh, boxing class that's held twice a week out there as well. And then also Kim Brutzman, one of my top trainers, master trainer. Uh, she has a Misfits class that she does, and, and that was women only. Still have that two times a week, but now she's incorporated. It's got so popular, she's had to let the guys in oh, and no. create a co-ed class, <laughs> which again is just as supported as the uh, women only class. And that's, wow. that's what's impressive to see how, um, when women are in that situation, how much they support each other. Yeah. And to see how intense it actually gets. I like and, that. You know, guys are kind of sizing each other up and like, oh, I'm going to beat that dude down. But a lot of with that, it's, uh, it's a lot of support. So it's good to see. Yeah. yeah. And then you guys also have a dedicated stretching room. Dedicated which is stretching room. And I don't see at very many gyms and I'm wandering around trying to find a little spot so right. I can stretch. And in there, you guys have right. so many things. And I the love. sweat's going by you and I'm like, I'm yeah. just trying to stretch. So yeah. No, um, it's fantastic. It. It's really good padding in there and it's got mirrors all around so you can make sure you can watch, see, you know, how's your form doing, especially if you're doing yoga or anything like that, that kind of realm. Um, it's also got a full length bar along the wall, so you can actually use that for either attaching pieces of uh, equipment to or to help you stretch out on. Yeah, I love that. There are also self mount fascia release. There's again a, a whole set of um, foam rollers in there for you, different types of foam rollers, different knobbies, that kind of thing, a few racquetball. Um, as well as lacrosse practice balls, which are really oh, good yeah. to get deep into yeah. that muscle. So. Okay, yeah. I haven't even seen those in there yet. They hide, they hide in the little box. Yeah. yeah, so tell me about the kids gear too, because I know that's a really, I'm a mom and that was a huge selling point for, for me. Sure. Well, there's a lot of toys in there. <laughs> there is. This um, one never yeah, gets no, it's, it's a nice size area. It's two rooms in there. Again, you can just come in and drop them, drop them right off. Exactly. So you can you can get monthly or you can do daily. It's whatever uh, works best into your budget or what you're looking for. Uh, if you think you're going to be bringing them here three times a week, I would say it's definitely something you want to do on a monthly basis. Yeah, no, it's uh, very cool. It's, it's uh, definitely helps a lot of people out in busy schedules and moms that have got a lot of going a lot going on. It's great to just drop them off and go get your sweat on. Yeah, and then you guys also have amazing facilities in the back. I know the bathrooms, the women's bathroom is amazing. It's right. like a spa in there. Right. So what else do you have in Very there? Very nice. Yes, it's uh, executive style lockers. Um, we completely gutted it, tore everything out, and basically everything in there is brand new, to all the way down to the uh, wood piling into the sauna. So every tile is new, all of the fixtures are new, everything is just brand new. It's very modern, contemporary looking, it's nice, you get a good feel when you go in there, kind of feel like a high-end hotel type feel. Again, there's executive lockers, which are very nice, make sure all your stuff is safe, um, really good. Uh, I enjoy it, and it's always kind of that selling point with a lot of gyms. You know, you want clean, friendly, well-maintained. Yeah. And the clean really starts with the bathrooms. You walk into a bathroom and you're immediately bummed out if it's not. It's like, no one wants to go into a gas station toilet when you're trying to get a <laughs> sweat on, so. Exactly, oh, that's so true. So I know that you guys are doing some upcoming, kind of really cool events. Sure, and always. Ongoing, yeah. Definitely always got go stuff going on. It does kick up a notch uh, in the summertime. You know, we're working for that summer body. You're gonna want to show it off a little bit. So we do have downtown pool parties uh, that we do sp sponsor with different uh, high-end hotels downtown. Right. Uh, we also have a monthly um, barbecue kind of resort style at the, the Carmel Mountain Here? Ranch. Oh, okay. Yeah, they've got a very nice pool over there with gazebos and a lot of open space to do barbecues yeah. and pool parties. It is a little more family oriented okay. in parts of it because that is more of what Carmel Mountain Ranch is, yeah. more than downtown. Not a lot of kids down at the pool parties. <laughs> Well, there's something for everyone. Yeah, there's something for there's everyone, something definitely. For everyone. We're also having a golf tournament, sponsoring up a golf tournament oh, for fun. that to uh, benefit Urban Angels, which is actually a uh, homeless feeding type deal downtown, oh, wow. which is good. And uh, oh, cool. always good stuff going on. And then each gym itself puts on stuff to with the members. Beach barbecues, there's also beach boot camp workouts. 
you know, uh, hosting different yeah, the restaurants. Yeah, literally less than a mile, probably half a mile, not even from here. Not even close to a half mile. Really? It's actually right across that street yeah. over there, down that little path, That's about true. 75 That's yards. That's true. We did go on a new path right the down. other day. It was yeah. a lot closer. So okay, I very cool. Found mm -hmm. a new path with you. Yep, straight over. Well, um, thank you so much for coming and talking about all this different fun stuff cool. and how it is here. It's such an incredible gym, and I know there's a ton of people in Solana Beach right now wondering where to go. So, mm -hmm. do you have any final words of wisdom for those? Of people that are looking to get in shape but don't really know where to go for sure for sure I mean anything like this is things that can apply directly outside of the gym no matter where you're at at your house you can come to fit utilize them here but you can also do it anywhere and it's really all about that motivation you've got to everyone will have it in the back of their head hey I gotta lose 10 pounds here lose 20 pounds man sometime I gotta do that and when it goes from your head to your heart that's when you really get that motivation to go do that and that can happen a lot of different ways it could be a doctor's office visit and you get an EKG in your heart and that brings things to the heart really quick. Don't get to that point. Mm -hmm. If you know, and we all know, hey, if I got some pounds to shed, we know it's affecting our heart and our heart is our ticker, right? So you've got to just start doing something. And once you start doing something, walking along the beach, going for small hikes, going for a bike ride, then start to investigate what it is that you're eating. Because that's the key, is finding out what are your calories, how many calories do you actually need, once you determine that based on your activity level and your body fat percentage, lean muscle mass, you determine that and get that number, you can go as far as you want to go with body fat reduction. Once you get to that and you follow that, you will get to your goal. If you don't, you will not, no matter how hard you work out. Because you can work out as hard as you want and you eat a breakfast burrito afterwards, you've now negated all that calorie burn. You might feel better in your muscles, you might get a little bit more endurance, but the most important thing, dropping that weight, has to be around calories. Mm. You don't have to suffer. You find out how many calories you need, you can eat the foods that you enjoy in the right amounts. And that way, you'll stick to the nutrition plan and it becomes a lifestyle change. Mm. Very important. Now, the other thing would be what I talked about before with my trainers, is that safety component to exercise. You can go inside and in any gym and start banging away and picking up weights, throwing them around, doing stuff, wondering every time you walk out, hey, did I just get closer to my goal? Or you can go to a professional, talk to them. I'm not telling you to have a trainer for the rest of your life. Four or five sessions. Go figure it out a little bit. Get a program designed for you so you can walk into any gym in the world and say, I know exactly what it is that I need to do to keep myself getting to my goal. That's hard and for a lot of people. It I is feel like they yeah. don't want to put them on a trainer. Like, oh, I'm only going to use you for a month. So no, 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 no. Mm -mm, and that's, that's good not, to hear that a trainer for sure. appreciates that because for I sure. know Especially that a lot of people Especially at higher are end this. gyms, you're not going to have to worry about that. Yeah. Maybe at other gyms it's a little bit different. You look for volume <laughs> and that kind of stuff. Well, that, well, our thing with Fit is you guys are our, are our marketing. We get you great results. We give you a fantastic gym. You, we give you a good experience. You're going to tell your friends. Yeah. We don't want to plaster it all over, you know, trucks and you know buses and and street signs that yeah. kind of stuff. We want people talking about it. Sure. So we give you the best possible product. We get you the great poss best possible results. You go out and tell your friends. You come see. Them. Well, I can't wait to go tell my friends. All right. Tell After your friends. my wedding, when I'm all fit. Very Thank cool. you so much. All right. Big high five. For everything Very you've cool. done for me. I just want some cake. Just bring me cake. Okay? <laughs> I'll try. I'll bring all you right. a little piece. Cool, cool, cool. Awesome. <laughs> all right. Thank you. Thanks, guys. Take care.